Went up one night to make a little down, the middle of the city and a shattered down. Went back home, jumped into bed, photo for a pistol in my head. Does anybody want to chime in with like a song that you're just as happy not to ever play or hear again? I had a teacher in college, a bass teacher, a great bass player from, who lives in Boston named John Lockwood. And whenever I would say, man, I don't like that tune or that song, he'd always say, hey, you know, it's not the tune's fault. It's like, it's, it's whoever's so playing true. it that makes it. It's not so true. Like, oh, it took me a Devil's Dream. Devil's Dream. <laughs> what? This, this sort of exemplifies the point. I don't think there's any songs that I, or tunes that I really don't want to hear. It's more, I don't want to hear them played in the same way. I don't want to hear that same approach. And the Devil's Dream approach tends to be one that's not my favorite, but I think it depends on who the musician is, I think, with the right person approaching it. Tristan's going to play it tonight. He's going to open up the concert. Yeah, it's Sunday. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah he'll figure out, out what to do. Actually, there is one fiddle tune that I am totally over. I used to love it, and it's actually, there's a funny story about this, it's this thing called Garfield's Blackberry Blossom, and Rashad and I agreed that we liked it, and we made this like secret compact that we were gonna start, we were gonna try as hard as we could to turn this into like a jamming standard. So every jam either one of us was at, literally for like <laughs> two, three years, we played the song. Yeah, it was like an explicit agreement. We were like, this song should be a standard, so we'll just try to play it all the time. And then now it's like taking on a life of its own, and Jesus Christ, if I hear that song one more time. <laughs> 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 